Hello world. Josh is working. You can keep working. I'm waiting on her to join. Just waiting on Britt to join us. Do, 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 do. How is everyone? There she is. So let me click on her. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Go live with. We're waiting. There we are. Oh, there she yeah. is. Is Seth or you? He is. Oh, oh there he is. <laughs> I'm so glad you were able to join us, Seth. Yes, me too. My better half. What else would I do today? Right. I mean, you don't have a job. Right. Nothing. Yes, you do. You're busy all the time. Hey, Josh. Yeah. Hey, Josh. What's up, man? I'm good. How are you? Y'all holding the fort down COVID-19? Oh, we you are. know it. We are are y'all ready to jump ship like we are? <laughs> Done. <laughs> A little bit. We're going a little stir crazy around here. Yeah, yeah. Us too. But it's so, it's it's good. We miss y'all. We miss y'all so much. This is gonna be so fun. We love yes. doing this with people. I think this is I think this is good for people too to see like um, you know, we've talked about this, we all four have talked about this. Sometimes videographers and photographers together get bad raps and I can't imagine. I can't why. imagine why. I mean <laughs> But it's always so fun um, when we find a group that we connect with, like, really strongly. Like, not even just in photography, videography world, but, like, personally. Right. Like, because, guys, if you don't know us, we are friends in real life, too. And our friendship really developed just because of our vendor yes. relationship. So, yes. I'm excited that Did we're going to that with yes. everybody today. We've got tons of people jumping on. I like your hair, man. It's that's great. I wish that mine would do that. Do you think I've got hope somewhere? Maybe. He's got that hard part too, right? There. Next time I trim it, next time I trim it, I'll save it and we'll see if we can do something. Oh thank you. We'll just paste it on. <laughs> yeah. That'd be good. Super super glue. Super glue. <laughs> yeah. That's right. The other night we were taking Josh's hair and we were like putting it on top of uh, or my hair and putting it on top of it. Yeah, yeah. And it was hilarious. Yeah. Okay, and so for anybody that's just joining us also, we've got to tell you, hold on, our dog's barking. Becca's getting Hey, dog. Uh, for anybody else that's just joining us, uh, we have a nickname for Seth that started immediately. And he I, loves it. I call him Sethery. With a term of endearment, right, Seth? And Seth I, feel like, I feel like when you say we have a nickname, you just mean that you do. <laughs> this is true, baby. Because <laughs> yeah. Josh hasn't called me Sethery yet, so and I'm true. okay for that. But it I'd be really cute if he did, though. Yeah. yeah. Sethery <laughs> is my endearing nickname for you, Seth. Yeah. <laughs> we we'll keep it yeah. real. <laughs> yep. Okay. It so, really did happen immediately. Like it that did day. happen immediately. Like, I think it was, like, from the moment that we just started talking. I was like, whatever, Sethery. And yeah. It stuck from that point forward. Yeah. Oh, look at Stephanie. Hey, oh. Stephanie. I know. We've got some good people. I think, I think your parents are here, too. I'm sure. I love that. Oh, my God. We've got a good crew here. And there will be more people that will jump in and out um, throughout the time. And then, uh, just like we did last time with Caitlin, we took it and we're going to put it over on our YouTube channel so that people can go back and also catch the full thing good. there since it only stays for 24 hours. So, yes. um, so hello to Brett's parents. We're so glad you're here. And my sister. And sister. Hey, well, you got the hey, we love these guys. Y'all did a great yes, job. Yes, we love them. Yeah, we're okay. So we'll just start off. I have a list, like a, just a flowy list of questions, but for the most part, I just want us to have conversations so that people can get to know us. So, okay. Uh, so really, one of, the, one of the questions people ask is, how did we meet? So Brett, do you want to start? Um, yeah. So I, I, of course, and this is a tip for all videographers, I messaged Amy and said, hey, we'll be shooting a wedding together. I just wanted to introduce myself and I gave her the date and everything and she was like no I don't think so and I was like oh sorry wrong date wrong bride here we go I was like we're not shooting that I, way. I think I was literally like dropping read off or in school line or something car line and I was like oh yeah that's the date you know until totally that's the wrong date so then I think it really goes, are we shooting away like, 
Yeah. Well, you know, the first thing that happens is, you know, fear floods my body like, am I booked for that day? Oh, are we shooting that well? Yeah, yeah. So then, um, but then I walk up and of course we had not met in person and right. I, I'm pretty sure you were like, hey, but, you know, <laughs> your normal Amy that self. Was and my that, that was me. That was me. Don't yeah. get the story mixed up. Yeah. Yes, we yes. know that I'm the bottle of energy that just yes, burst into the room. It. Yeah. It's really me and Seth, right, Seth? It it really what is. is it? <laughs> um, yeah. And then so so I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a fun loud day. <laughs> <laughs> but then so so when we really hit it off though, I think yes. is when we you and I, Amy, went out to the porch. Um to shoot details. Yeah. And you know, for a lot of videographers, that's kind of that point where we're like, well, I'll, I'll take the rings when you're done or I'll do yeah. that, you know, and we just got to talking and literally in that, what, 30 minutes, we were both like <laughs> hugging and in tears. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were too sad. Yeah, we that, were too the funny thing is Josh and I were on the front porch doing the same thing. <laughs> it, oh, was it, was, tears. Yeah, uh, it was just magic. Crazy. It was like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Like, I feel like from the moment, okay, for starters, we'll tell that this was Ariel and Matthew's wedding. Which yes. Was a great day. Great day. Yes. Guys. If great you day. saw video or pictures, you know that that is our bride and groom that jumped into the pool at the end of the wedding day. So yeah. that will give you a reference. Yes. 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 We love them. Um, I think it was the same for all, for us with you guys. It was an immediate, um, I call those things God moments. I feel like. Yeah. God knew that we both needed each other in our stories and our walks and just, mm -hmm. just to have friendship, uh, people yeah. that kind of understood the walks we both had walked through. So yeah. um, it was really cool how God intertwined our hearts pretty quickly. And it was just I Very think quick. magical. <laughs> yes, it really was. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the crazy Sorry. thing. Not only, <laughs> not only that, but what was really neat, um, we shot that wedding a week before my very first Amy Cole workshop. Yes. And what was really cool is at the end of the night, we were sitting around the table. We were all eating together. We, it, for starters, first, first time we had sat down all day. Yeah. yeah. First time we sat down all day. First that time we chocolate really cake. Had, yes, we chocolate saw the cake. Cake. Yes. Yes. The cake was cake by Lee, y'all. Cake by Lee. That peanut butter chocolate cake was let's all take a moment yeah i know <laughs> all right there goes my dog again hey, dog. Right <laughs> but um thank you avery <laughs> but hey avery for um for us like we were sitting around the table and i think we had bonded so well during that day i looked at brett and i was like hey i'm having a workshop next week <laughs> do you want to come <laughs> and i was like um well you did borrow my lens all day because that is true. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, you kind of owe me a night at your yeah. sleeping on your couch. <laughs> I forgot. Yes, my that lens got that, that wedding. It got rained on. Gosh, it got wet. Remember, we stood working. in the rain, and Ariel and Matt stood inside, right inside the barn doors, and we were just getting. We were drenched. And Brit, we have video of Brittany literally holding an umbrella over my head. I was like, Mary we've Poppins. known each other long, but we are acting like we've been best friends for years. Yes. Yeah. That's how it felt. That's how it It did felt. feel like that. And it's felt like that since that day. And then the next week, you were at my house for three days, sleeping on my couch. Yes. We bonded, like, to three o'clock in the morning, talking. Yes. Yes. Um, and just, just such a cool, I feel like that was such a cool God moment. It in was. that exact moment. Like, I think we all four it needed was. that friendship to kind of, to well, align. And then for me, you know, that next weekend meeting all those amazing ladies that were at the workshop, mm -hmm. it was like, it took that friendship of us the weekend before. And then the whole, the whole next weekend, I mean, I was meeting these awesome ladies and these vendors that, you know, really opened up a whole new, um, like, encouragement group yeah. for me of yeah. other creatives that are doing this that are you know just en encouraging and supportive and fun you know yeah. it was it was such a great experience and it I is. was so thankful and you're coming back in June yes yeah. I know Seth you're welcome to come and hang out with John yeah. he can okay. run and okay. get the yeah. Chick-fil-A minis 
with with I'll, Josh. I'll check my calendar. <laughs> Seth, what about you and Josh? What was your moment like when y'all first met? I mean, I do know that y'all kind of bonded pretty quickly, like just for, like, what's up, bro? Like, <laughs> yeah. So, um, Josh knows that in in doing this, it's always fun to get to go with your wife mm -hmm. to do to to shoot you know and you can call it work and call it what you want but there's always that moment where date night us second shooters the almost as important but not as important other shooters <laughs> have to kill time it's like that so right for us we found a spot <laughs> we found a spot to stay dry for a few minutes <laughs> and to kind of shake our gear off and just had some downtime and yeah. so yeah we had a moment and, and you had a moment we had a moment <laughs> We had a moment to just sit and, and kind of talk, and uh, it was cool just seeing that, that God had allowed us to kind of travel some of the same paths through ministry, and and um, it was a cool moment for us, just in time that we normally wouldn't be doing a whole lot anyways. Right. So yeah. We were productive off and on. We're we always productive. Moved, Are they? Know, it rained Are it, they? and the wedding moved inside that was supposed yes. to be outside, yes. so it was a turn of events, but always great to have. Of, um, and we don't get to work with couples a lot, right? But it's always good to have just a pair of photographers that just work well, right? And you know, it's kind of natural from the beginning for us with you guys. So yeah. yeah. What about you, Josh? You yeah, no, I mean, you always have that uh, the similarities in that and doing the second shooter stuff because we're always just making sure what you need, where we need to go, <laughs> what do you need to do, what do you need me to do, you know, and kind of we're just the same thing, you know, because we need, we, need we, your chapstick, need a memory card. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. Yeah. Chapstick is so important. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of thrown, you know, yes. when you come into those days, especially the days that involve rain, you know that all of the hard work that these people have done and putting together the day and the flow and all that stuff, you've got to be flexible in that. And so yes. they're in the moment, they're still trying to get what they're needing to get. And then we're trying to figure out all the extra stuff, you know, and how to make that happen, yeah. how to you support them so yeah so, you support you're a little, there. yeah you're a little blurry on my end um a little laggy uh -oh. let's check maybe phone situation like just see if you're there right is that better? better yeah we're dark we're there so i said mine too <laughs> you're there you are dark. oh yeah click your box and Why don't we take you off and then rejoin uh, the conversation? Let's. You want us to? You want to take you out and then let we'll him bring you back on? in just to make sure. Sure, good. sure. Yeah, that'd I'm be gonna, fine. I hope it'll let him back in. Turn that down. That's fine for technical difficulties. <laughs> technical difficulties. Do you have your lights on? Uh, you know it. We do too. <laughs> <laughs> Light stands and everything. We're still dark. Do you I feel like that's better lagging wise? Bethany, you said that you, Bethany's here and she said that she feels that was lagging. So lag, Bethany, will you tell us if you feel like it's caught up now? Since you are with us, we'll wait a minute. I thought we should dance. <laughs> we could do, I'm on TikTok now, you know. Oh yes, that's right. Y'all yeah. are still real blurry, Amy. Okay, then. Can we go out and come back in? We can't. We can't release it because we're already in here. It's way behind. Right, Why don't you? It's gonna pause. You take me out and then. Text it's gonna pause for just a minute. I'm just make sure my my internet's right. Hold on. Hey. Is it better? Hey. Are we? You're still are we lagging? High end. Okay. You're bl you're okay. blurry and laggy. Hmm. Technical Let's get, uh, difficulty. Like, give us one more second. We're gonna try something else. Okay. Okay. One Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that better? better? Yeah. I think okay. Yay! Yay! Woo! Whoop, whoop. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. We're still dark, but it makes me look like I have a really good tan. Yeah. Just leave it. We're real bright. Yeah. We actually are out of the window. Okay. So the okay, next good. question that we'll ask, talk about is let's talk about our relationship and how we handle maneuvering around each other on a wedding day. Because I think if there was one question that I get a lot, and I'm sure that you probably even get some, Britt, is how, like, we used to, say, I'll just make a statement. We used, and we've talked about this. I, we used to say things like, gosh, our wedding days are so much easier sometimes when there's not a videographer there. Mm -hmm. That's a statement that we used to make a long time ago because we did have some situations where we dealt with, like, a lot of, taking over in the middle of yeah it's hard to get good photos when you have to edit out the videography <laughs> <laughs> i understand and we I understand. Brett, and in, in brent's defense we have we've conversed about this our like in yes. the past conversation yeah um since working with them and a few other uh, videographers that we love um it's not it's not like that with them like we we mesh and we work well together we like coexist together right yeah, so, yeah. well and the thing is is we both i think this is we both have the same goals, right? right. The, mm -hmm. the photographers there to grab and capture the memories of the day. The videographers are there to capture the memories of the day, you know. Excellent. And I think that it's a, it would be cool. Uh, I think it, you could frame it up this way. What is one thing that you wish that every photographer at a wedding knew about the videographers at the wedding? Um, yeah, I mean, I think along with what you just said, like having that understanding that um, while – Still in the industry, a lot of times videographers are kind of the, we'll see if it's left in the budget or, you know, an, an afterthought to a photographer. Every bride's going to hire a photographer as they right. should. Um, but I think just understanding that we, um, you know, have, have been um, asked to be there for the same goal. And I think that when you can work together, it can help the day be smooth and easy Um you know, I, I think the one thing that I would, if I could just blanket tell every photographer is there, there's one specific part of the day that the audio becomes a problem mm -hmm. with the photographer. And that would be the, the first look, yes. you know, most of the time, like throughout the day when we're shooting together, a lot of that audio is not going to be used. And then the right. audio from the from the ceremony, we've got mics on them. Of course, everyone is quiet and listening to their vows or letters being read. Um, but the first look, a lot of times you have in our audio, we have photographers going, oh, you're adorable. You're so cute. Okay, now turn. Now face this way. Do this, you know, and so that, Bless you, Seth. <laughs> um, that, that audio, um, sometimes the him saying, oh, my gosh, you look so beautiful is is sometimes drowned out by the photographers. Um, right. And I, pro I am probably guilty of that because I know, I know for me, that is, I know, I know I'm guilty of it. Well, and, but it, you have a job also of helping that moment yeah. to evolve into what I want on video. Right. You know? yeah. So sometimes it does help to have that that push from the photographer as you do all day of that encouragement of like, Oh, look at y'all, you know? Right. Um, but it's in the, that just a moment or two there. Right. Where the audio a lot of times is kind of uh, damaged just, just by background. Sure. Yeah. And that's a great we word. We just a whole book on this. this I know. Is this is, <laughs> that is good. Yeah. Because yeah. that even like, that even helps me when someone says that, because I am, I mean, y'all shot with me already two weddings. We have other weddings coming up this year together. Yes. I am a constant encourager through the day. We mm -hmm. tend to have very, um, we know that the brides will get tired uh, yeah. or the people yeah. will get tired over the course of yes. the day. So Amy really takes on that reign of, yay, we can do this. You know, <laughs> yes. Absolutely. But yeah, there's, there's good there's, times like that yeah. where those personality types, we need to be mindful of that as photographers mm -hmm. because we, again, our goals are the same. And so we yes. want to do everything that we can right. to partner with you guys, you know, right. getting what you need. And just like you guys are doing the same for, for the photographers that are there, but that, that is gold. Right and there. I also it's think good. that's why it's good that like we have the type of working relationship that we do because like that's well received in these moments where we 
are we are genuinely fond of one another uh, yeah. when we when we have videographers that come in and let us know up front like we we've, we've had videographers before look at us and say listen i know that your job's important but like like I, I, my job's more important like i mean we've we've, we've had videographers say that and yeah. so i think in those moments that's where i'm like no we're like in these moments we're both capturing things this is not yeah. me over you this is not you we're over supposed me to work together. we're yeah. supposed right. to be joining together for one common goal and that's yeah. that couple and yeah. so I think a lot of times that's why that happens. Go ahead, I Seth. think I think the thing, um, you know, for a lot of people on a wedding day, for for us it's a it is a work scenario. It's mm -hmm. you know those of us at the event that are working, you got to think about the fact that these brides and grooms, most of them haven't done this before, right? And so this is a day for them that when nerves get in, when the stress, when the pressure, yeah. when with, uh, just everything that plays into it, you know, for us to realize that we have done this at lots of different places right you know we have funny stories and horror stories and you know <laughs> yes, but for us to realize that this is a work situation but it's also one of the most important days in someone's life right it just it makes it so much better for for them mm -hmm. that we just make it go smoothly right, right. and so i guess for us as, as videographers the, the only thing that we would suggest to photographers is just be mindful of the audio recording mm -hmm. in just a few moments other than that you know, just make the day go as smooth as possible well, and, and have a good time. Because yeah. you should, because it's a it's a fun day. It's well, it is a fun like, day. Like you said, working together, um, I think a lot of that, like, well, this is my moment to capture this or my moment to capture. I think if we, um, or if videographers and photographers worked on the itinerary together beforehand, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. make it known that, hey, I'd like to snag them for a romantic you know, walk around with the right. or, you know, something that, that we know we'd like to get, um, to better tell their story. Um, right. that, but then also being mindful of the fact that you of course have a job to do. Yeah. Right. yeah. I think that's what's great. Like Brit, that's what's great about Brit. And I have a couple of other videographers that always reach out to me and say, Hey, I know that you've done a flow chart. Can, will you send that over to me? and let me look at that. And then what usually happens is they'll come back. Another videographer that we work with is Megan Pettis, and she um, is similar to you. She will ask me for the flow chart, and then she'll say things to me like, hey, I really want, we're gonna be in this like really, uh, like for instance, we were under like mossy trees one time, and she was like, I really want a shot of them just walking through that. Yeah. I mean, why would I tell you no to that? And that's what's great. If you are up front, I think before the wedding day, I think that's what helps us on the wedding day yeah. is that we kind of have an expectation yeah. of what you need. Yeah. You have an expectation of what we're going to need. Right. And that's usually the moment where I can say to videographers, listen, I don't mind if you need your shot. Please tell me. I want you to get your shot. Mm -hmm. But if I'm in the middle of a posing sequence of some kind, if you'll let me work through that, and yeah. then what we'll do is we'll come back and sweep through yeah. And y'all know that. I mean, a lot of times y'all are shooting secondary stuff while I'm doing that pose stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, Seth, I know for you, you flew a drone over and, you know, there was a moment where we had to like, you wanted us backed out of the shot. We're still shooting even backed out of the shot. I think Brett was even still shooting at that <laughs> moment when we were like, pull that out. So was that when you wrecked the drone? <laughs> that, no. was not, that was not one of the three times that, that was I had. That was the other <laughs> three <laughs> shots together. <laughs> Let me just no, that that break was at um, that break was at Sarah, Sarah. and Brady's wedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I, oh yeah. I, I Sorry, just about Sorry. forgot about 60 it. Sixty foot. Up. We, we won't talk about how many times I've dropped my camera. Yeah, we won't talk about it. It happens. It happens. <laughs> no, I think all of that's great stuff. Uh, all of that's really good information, and I think that it, yeah. it helps photographers and videographers mm -hmm. work together for sure. Yeah. Because. Uh, there's so many th resources that we can find out there that are uh, supportive to photographers. And I'm sure you guys have the same educational resources for videographers, but there's not a whole lot of things that are, you know, giving the give and take in between right. the two different roles yeah. and how they can work together, you know, to make the day just as special as it is. You right. Know? Yeah. Um, so let's yeah. move on to, is, are we waiting on Seth Marie? No, it's fine. Okay. We're trying to fix, I don't know. He touched the screen earlier and we went very dark can you even can you see us we can't are see we you. there we can see you okay 
Yeah. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's, that's, better. Not that's good. Okay. Where you're at right now is very good. Okay. Good. Good job, yeah. Seth. <laughs> He's back, everyone. He's back. He's back. All right. So when you're at home and you're working, let's go to just a different question for a minute. Sure. So when you're working, what does your work environment look like for you? Like, for me, when I'm editing, I'm usually in my comfy chair. I'm watching Friends, got a coffee or a Diet Dr. Pepper beside me. That's yeah. where I feel the most creative when I'm editing and, like, doing yeah. some, some kind of workflow. So what about you guys? Yeah. Um. Well, right now, it's in between playing football and frisbee and bubbles outside with my son <laughs> because I'm, I'm the playmate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, um, I, I typically, um, you know, the whole staying at home, working from home thing can be, um, hard to manage. You have to really be, um, intentional with your time right? and time management, which I would say, um, has, is something that I've had to grow into over time. Um, but yeah, for me, I mean, you know, my my yeah. comfy workout clothes. I do like to couch. edit on my laptop. <laughs> on the couch. On the couch. Sometimes I come in and she's sitting in the floor with her laptop on the ottoman. I do that a lot <laughs> because I don't want to be like hunched back of Notre Dame and like three. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> I I prop it up on the couch and I'm a floor sitter, so I sit literally in the floor you with do my sit laptop. for a lot i do i'm a floor sitter you sit the floor a lot yeah. <laughs> she does when she was at my house like um, during the workshop she was always always everybody else was trying to find couches and chairs and she was always huddled in the floor with a blanket comfy <laughs> That's because you had 37 other people there. This is and true. 37. She I always, wasn't 37. She always puts others before herself, so she's going to sit in the floor and give them a seat. That is that is Brittany to a T. <laughs> that is true. That is also my husband to a T. Yep. Mm. So. so anyways. I love we're, that we're just that ministry hard. That Josh, is a ministry what hard. hard. Where do you sit when you work, Josh? Um, Don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm usually the person as she's sitting in, as she's editing. I'm probably in my chair next to her in the evenings or whatever, and she's just in a whole bunch of this. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? What if I do this? What do you uh -huh. think about this? You know, and I'm just like, that looks wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> That's Constantly. like a whole new meaning to like sidekick. Yes. Like <laughs> uh, we had a comment on here from Anna Hope Makeup. She said, This is impressive. So much goes into making sure a bride gets everything that they want and need in both filming and photography. Yeah. yeah. That is so true. Um, I yeah. think we could probably, we probably could have spent the entire time on this story yeah. talking about the relationships we try to build with those. Well, I mean, in the whole topic of what we're talking about, relationships in between vendors and how that benefits the couple on the wedding oh, day, yeah. mm -hmm. I think that the, the biggest takeaway for couples as they're looking you know to hire different vendors is to do your homework yeah you yeah. know vet your vendors you know check your references yeah. just like you would any other employee that you yeah. have you yeah. know because you want to know what kind of reputation your vendor has you want to make sure this is one of the greatest days of your entire life yeah and you want to make sure you have the right people in the right place you know to be a part of your day uh, makeup makeup is a huge part yeah. of that and yeah. with your background in that anna you know, if you're doing makeup, you know that that can really, it's, it's the beginning of the day. It's you know, the beginning. That's when everyone's getting ready. And that can really. And it can make or break. <laughs> really, really it quickly. can make or break. Oh, wait. She is the makeup artist she for is. Allie's wedding. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you in October. Well, we'll see you in October. Yes, okay, Anna, here's the scoop. <laughs> We've had makeup artists. We love makeup. Like, I will tell you, they're one of my you favorite guys do vendors. You great work. I mean, it's amazing. But they can make or break us on a start of a flow chart for a day. And we actually had a situation yes. at the very first wedding that we shot at where, um, together where the makeup artist uh, ran behind. And mm -hmm. she didn't mean, it wasn't an intentional thing by any means, but the day just got behind slowly and set us up for some really difficult moments to reorganize. So uh, we we love when our makeup artists touch base with us beforehand to kind yes. of ask us, like, what do you need from us? Um, yeah. We we love that from, I don't know about y'all, but we love we love vendor touch bases um, oh, yeah. before a wedding day from floral. Communication is so important. Everybody. Across the board. So yeah. Anna, we will, we look forward to meeting you soon. Let's see, I'm bringing a second. Woo! Thank you, Lord, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> 
And then I think I'm working with you. I think I have two weddings with you. I think I have um, maybe Anna Maria. I think we have another bride with her too. Um, one of the things that I was thinking of while we were even talking is, um, hold on, I have to go. Well, for starters, Callie did, Callie did send us a question. So okay. let's go to that real quick. Okay. Callie, which is our October bride. Yes. Us, she said, on a scale of one to 10, how much fun do we plan to have at my October bride? Oh, girl. <laughs> she don't even sell three. three. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. Seven and a half. Maybe eight. I don't, I don't think she quite knows what she's getting with this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. If, oh if, no, if nobody else has a good time, we're going to. Yeah. We're going to party. We might even dance at your reception. That's true. <laughs> and we definitely going to eat cake, Callie. Oh, yeah. When you go back and watch this, let me just tell you, girl, you better, you, you better have us a little side of cake somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> These four love us some cake. We at do. A wedding. We do. <laughs> um. But one of the things I was going to mention a minute ago was, I know for me, are y'all there? Yeah. I think they stopped. You're, yeah. you're, scrolling. Yeah. you're rolling. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I think for us, we're usually Street. one of the first people that. Uh, oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Did that work? Y'all are scaring me. <laughs> you like. Oh, Callie's here. She said so much cake, so much. Callie. So we are going to throw down <laughs> at your wedding, girl. You better yes. get ready. We dance while we shoot. So yes. prepare yourself. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I think for us, we're usually typically one of the first vendors that they book. They usually book a venue. They usually, actually, it's usually a venue, and then they come and find us, and then they start booking caterers and stuff. So the, one of the joys that we get as photographers is being able to refer mm -hmm. our clients to the people that we love, the vendors that we love. And obviously you guys are definitely at the top of our list of who yeah. we send people to because we love our working relationship with you. Yes. Uh, and so I think that's such a cool thing that we are able to build. That's why it's such an important thing to build those relationships with vendors um, yeah. because you never know who you're going to get a referral for, from. It may be a floral person. It may be a caterer. So I would say for anybody, makeup artists, videographers, photographers, we get referrals from vi from uh, venues. So I think it's important to for vendors to build this camaraderie together. Yeah. Because network. it helps us. Yeah. You, guys, you have to network. And because, I mean, it should be something that we can build relationships with vendors, like you said. Right. But then to where, you know, we, our brides can feel confident that we know the people mm -hmm. that we are, you know, suggesting to them. Um you know, I mean, just, it's very different than any other, any other like business because mm -hmm. we are dealing with, um, you know, a, a very important day yeah. uh, for our brides and grooms. And I think that, you know, if we keep that mindset of even if all else fails on your wedding day, girls, if it is the worst day, everything happens wrong, everything, you know, just goes badly you are still going to be just as married the next day. And I think exactly. that if, if you keep that mindset and we can help you keep that mindset as photographers and videographers and all the vendors, if we can help keep that mindset of what's actually taking place on the day, mm -hmm. then the joy and, and all of that will overcome the stress of it. It of will. And what we capture won't ever look like. Yes. Yeah. what actually happened that's true. yes yeah that's true. true well <laughs> i think that there's some some uh, kind of piggybacking off what you're saying there brett with you know just helping them relax helping them enjoy their day i think seth you and i as we're working with grooms and stuff like that now, i mean guys the last thing in the world we want people to know is that we're nervous right i mean but yeah. that's kind of a natural thing and i think for me and probably the same thing for you seth is going in and just telling these guys hey listen we're going to make this as quick and as easy as possible for you guys, yes. you know, so that you can go watch your football game, you know, chill out, do yes. whatever it is that you need to yeah. do, go yeah. hang with Absolutely. you guys so that you can do what you need to do. But there are those moments too with the groom, you know, to where I, I want them to know, listen, your groomsmen are not going to be standing around watching us take the pictures of you. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to take you out to a place to where it's as natural as natural can be and as comfortable as comfortable can be for you. Yes. So that we're, we're, grabbing these moments you know because i mean the guys 
some of us like to sit back and look back at the pictures of our day, you know. <laughs> some of us, we're, we're, doing it there, we're doing it there to support our, our bride, you know. Yeah. Uh, and we want them to enjoy that. So, yeah, even though we may not enjoy taking pictures, you know, some of us yeah. may have great hair. Some of us may not, you know. So yeah. well, some of us look like that we could just walk out of a magazine, and some of us look like we need some help. But that's okay. You're so you know, handsome, John. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we we just want it to be supportive for those guys. You have anything on that, Seth? And Brett. Um, yes. Sorry, so, Brett. Go ahead. So this is without being a husband wife team. Yeah. And how it. So without going just on an hour tangent that we could. Um, <laughs> Brittany and I, it's it, it's really been um, since we've had the opportunity to go on this journey together mm -hmm. over the last four years, four, four years or so. Um, it's it's cool for us to get to experience the day, and obviously to capture moments to put it together in a way that it tells the story but we we have such a heart for the couple yeah and for and what do too. and for yeah. what what happens after the day yeah. mm -hmm. the marriage. So, so that's yep. why working together you know just in the moments and the hours that we have with them you know I, when it's clear to see that our love and heart is for them right and we want them to succeed we want them to have a great marriage you know and a, and a great future together um you know and that's one of our greatest joys of getting to do this together you know mm -hmm. but being a husband wife team and you know knowing that we have our strengths and we get to go our directions but it's always cool you know usually when we meet back up just before ceremony and we're going through all our gear mm -hmm. and getting ready to attack that because you can't redo it right you know you got to get it um <laughs> but it's just such a cool moment to us to have over over the course of the day, built a relationship with the bride and the groom. Right. To be able to ease them into this process. Yeah. yeah. Over the course of months. Actually, yeah. Yeah. But right. especially yeah. Today, yeah. Well, and back to what Josh was saying, it really does. It really is so beneficial to hire or to have a photographer and a videographer that are husband wife team, or right. at least have a male and female because, you know, me walking in or Amy walking into the groom's suite is is very different and they yeah. they clam up even more mm -hmm. when we walk in there like okay guys <laughs> oh, 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 we get this oh my yeah. god yeah like, really going, and, oh my know, god. i know with <laughs> seth and i know with josh too when they walk in there it's like immediately this the bonding with not right. just the groom but the groomsmen and they can cut up throughout the day and it just makes it so much smoother for the men it that does. are involved in the day yeah um so that's something that we have really loved and have heard from our our brides and grooms like Same. we yeah. love you we love you Brittany but Seth but Seth yeah <laughs> but really where it's at. yeah I mean a lot of our grooms come back to me and say things like we can't or our couples will come back and say we can't wait to hang out with you guys again and we do that like we're yeah. that weird photography team that we do. We do go we out. Going out to <laughs> we got to dinner yeah. with our couples. Yeah. Yes. We're hanging out and, you know, um, anytime that's we're so around, good. we'll just check up on our, on we, our we love show. that. Like they're friends yeah. with us personally on Facebook. We, al we allow them into our, our normal lives too. They right. love our kids. Um, yeah. They know them. We, we've, we've gotten cards from people, you know, celebrating different we had, milestones. We had a marriage yes. retreat at our church recently. And one of our previous couples came over and attended the retreat, yeah. uh, that marriage yeah. conference with us. And that was just cool, you know, to be able to sit and, cool. and talk about some things. So yes, yeah, relationships, relationships with our couples are, are very important. They're slow moving at the beginning. Um, typically when they first book us, you, and you know, this like, yeah, you know, they're just getting to know you. They start following you. They start seeing how you are. And anybody that knows me knows I'm super silly. So if they follow me for any length of time. <laughs> yeah. Seth, uh, I don't know Seth agrees with God that. help them. <laughs> <laughs> but as we get to that wedding day, they, we've walked into rooms before where they have followed us for a period of time. And we've walked yeah. into rooms before they're like, like Amy's here, you know, and I'm like, yes. we've never met in person, but people know us. Or they say, and Josh is here too. And I'm like. Yeah. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> like, how do you know me? How do you know me? <laughs> but well, they follow you are so good on social media. And your presence on social media. Is... Well, it just, I think it, I think it helps you in those moments. Because it does. they feel like you, they feel like you are already a part of their lives. Yeah. yeah. And they know you on an intimate level. Right.
yeah. Well, when we have people, I mean, like you guys and like and like us, we're we're wanting to make this a really cool experience for these couples. Yeah. You know, that's an added benefit. We want them to feel as comfortable as they can with us too. You yeah. Know? And so we want to be real. Yeah. We want to be real out there with them as much as we can. And I do. You guys are the same. I've seen your TikToks. I've seen you cut your moves. It's all good. I'm trying. I'm really, I'm really bad at um, the whole social media presence because I, you can ask Seth and my family. Like, it, it, it'll be 24 hours probably before I'm like, wait, where's my phone? Where's my phone? <laughs> Where? I didn't see my phone since yesterday. Seth's I do know that about her. Oh, you left it here. <laughs> She's so pretty. Day, right? Stop. She's so pretty. <laughs> She's so pretty. It's a good thing she's pretty. <laughs> He's so mean. Okay, well, I'm bad about it on wedding day, and y'all know this. How many times has Josh, I throw mine into, like, the grass? Hey, whose fault is this? Yeah. Hey, who's, what? Wait, whose camera is this? Whose camera? Oh, whose lens is this? Is this your Brent's lens? Brent's having a heart attack because Amy's camera's laying on the ground in dirt, yep. and dirt, and Brittany's going, <gasps> you know? Brittany picks up my camera constantly, and it's in fact, I've only um, got so many hands and I got, you know. At one, of, at one of the weddings we did, I sat my camera down like you for some reason. And, <laughs> and it got kicked by a kid. So. It did get kicked by a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Which I was like, okay. Totally fine. It's all right. Just, it's all right. Yeah. We'll just Thanks. move on. So oh speaking of vendor relationships, Chad Ellis, which we all love working we with. We love Dad. Chad. Chad Ellis is a DJ <laughs> in Alabama. <laughs> um, who is, I, I've worked with a million times. I love him so much. He cracks me up. He says yeah. to tell us, we are right. It wasn't really a question. He just wanted us to know. We are right. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. All right. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, I was Thanks, just hoping Chad. today to hear from you. Yes. And now I can lay my head down tonight. No, I know. We can all sleep right. well. And right. We are firm. <laughs> and then another one, uh, Stephanie McGuffey wrote, I don't have a question. I just want to know why y'all so cute. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. She is adorable. She, she is, and Micah are so I love her adorable. And, so much. And she's taking really good photos, too. Real she, good. She does take Girls really, really good. good. Girls good. <laughs> so proud of her. So she's proud. coming to the conference. She's coming back to the workshop. Yeah, she'll come back to the workshop. She's actually going to do some um, website work for me and Josh. We, we've got her on the hook to. Well, tell her to get my good side. Oh, there she oh. is. She's like, y'all, look at her. She's <laughs> Stephanie, Josh wants you to get his good side. Make sure you capture all the goodness, right? So. In between this ear and this ear. <laughs> you are so funny, Josh. Josh, you got to stop worrying about your baldness. I think you're cute. You cute? Oh. Are we about done with this call? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot in here. <laughs> every so, side. everybody, everybody yeah. tune in real quick. This is what a wedding day is like, everybody, for us <laughs> together. Like, there's, we're gonna get down to business. We will. We're, we're gonna get the shot. We will. We will. We're gonna, get gonna down be to a business. lot of in between. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna get to business. <laughs> well, we eat our cake. <laughs> this really is what a wedding day. We literally laugh from the moment, like, we laugh from yeah. the moment we walk in the door together. And we've hugged. We hug in the parking lot. We get our hugs in. Which yes. right now, will we be able to hug? I don't think we'll be able to hug. Seth, six feet. Oh, no. Six feet. Six feet. I know it's going to be hard. Six <laughs> feet. Yeah. We do have a I'm lot gonna of fun. Wear, okay, I'm going to so wear a if, um, Let's see. Let me go back to the questions that we were asked. Okay. So here's a fun okay. question we were asked the other day, and I wanted to carry it over here. So we want to know what your favorite ice cream flavor is. Um, You know... Ooh. That's very, very important. It is I, very important. I, I, I'm going to say I'm, I'm a little old school. I guess it would be old school. Butter pecan. Ooh. Like my my grandparents always kept it. And if me and the cousins ever, ever went and stayed at Grand, we had butter pecan ice cream. So it, it, it takes mm. me back, but it also is so delicious. Only so. grandma would yes. like butter pecan. <laughs> Only grandmothers, great grandmothers, eat butter pecan. No, I eat it and I love it. So, <laughs> so sensory I, just threw down the judgment. To be specific, I am a um, the tonight dough. Uh, oh. The Jimmy Fallon tonight dough. Jimmy Fallon the tonight dough. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if good. I have to I... go, I'm a chocolate chocolate 
chocolate peanut butter guy. What it yeah. gets down to. Oh, okay. Or I'm, coffee, glad coffee everybody, I'm glad everybody knows that. What about y'all? Uh, Josh, what is yours? Uh, I like butter pecan too, so I'm a grandma. <laughs> what? Who knew? I knew? I almost said I bet Josh's <laughs> favorite kind is butter pecan. <laughs> well, I'm so angry. I want my butter pecan. <laughs> So what about you, Amy? Um, I okay. So I told Caitlin this the other day on our live. I do love Neapolitan ice cream <laughs> because you get Neapolitan. Yeah, but not I, cosmopolitan. Brittany the called container. Do what now? Brittany called it cosmopolitan one time. I love her. Gonna... I love her so much. Who invited him on this yeah. live anyway? Cosmopolitan <laughs> with chocolate and strawberry and vanilla. That's a different kind of ice cream. I love it. But what did you? What were you going to say that I do? Okay, so it only stays Neapolitan <laughs> in the moment that she opens up the container. Really? Shortly after it goes into the bowl, it becomes Amy. It, came, it becomes Amypolitan. Whatever. That it is, is not okay. Amy, that's illegal. <laughs> it becomes Amypolitan really fast. Amy Politan. I'm a weirdo. Okay, so, but Jenny's ice cream is my favorite ice cream. And from there, I like Brambleberry Crisp. Um, what is yes, the butter I, almond one? Oh, brown butter almond butter. Okay, so that's the one I always get. But that's I can't the remember. one I like, too. We are kindred. Jennifer Pierce. Y'all are. I have told you this before, that you two, y'all have this, y'all have this weird, like, what was your, what's your Enneagram again, Brent? Six. I'm a six wing seven. Six wing seven. Josh is a five wing six. Okay. So that's probably why. Seth three, what are you? He doesn't know because he hasn't taken the test. Gosh, Seth three, that's your test. I would fail it. Like <laughs> He says he's a 10. <laughs> he's a 10. He's a 10. Like, I wouldn't even get a number. I would just, like, I wouldn't get a number. He's like, I know what I am. I'm a 10. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big 10. Oh, I'm he's, a 10. He's, I love that. The, What's the one that like um, words of affirmation? Like you, you, he. Nobody. We've talked about this. I think that we think that Seth and I are very similar. Three wing two is what I am. I don't think you are the same. Look, he's his head down. I don't think you are the same. You don't think you're the same. You are similar. I think he's more like two or three. I don't. You know. think he's? A, you think he's a two wing three? Then maybe. Are you a people pleaser, Seth? I didn't know y'all spoke Chinese. This means nothing to me. Listen, we've got 14 minutes. This could go on for days. <laughs> I don't know if I can personally handle 14 how about, minutes. We'll just, how about, I'll be back later. We'll just call y'all later. And we'll I'm go going to get some ice cream. I'll see y'all. <laughs> yeah, really. Amy pa Jim Pierce is laughing at Amy Politan. That's what we're going to call from now on, Jim Pierce. I think that's a great name for it. Amy, look at <laughs> What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Are we sure Seth's not a seven? Y'all, I feel a seven stirring. It may be a seven, too. <laughs> it's a seven. Like, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we'll we'll do this one last question. If you okay. could tell, if you could tell a bride or, um, you waving. We're I trying to wave at everybody. I haven't gotten one. to wave at anybody. And I <laughs> He's waving. Oh, you got, oh, you got lighter got for a, a minute. bride for a second. That was neat. Don't do it. That was fun. Okay. Don't do that. Just gonna pull it down. We have to yeah, it. Say it again. What What'd you say? You're good. If you could tell a bride what? anything, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're here. <laughs> this really is like a wedding day. It's, I can't wait to post this on YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's right. Somebody's gonna watch this. With our guitar. Bless them. Uh, if you could tell a bride anything about booking a videographer, what would you tell her? Y'all froze. Um, we did freeze. Can you still hear my voice? I, I can hear your voice. Seth. <laughs> Seth I'm, was I'm, like this. I'm about to take a picture. You're back. But we can't hear you. We can't hear you now. I love them so much. I can't hear you. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> I can't hear you. 
What happened? Well, we think we may have lost him. We broke the gram. <laughs> it is official. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete you and add you back. Add you back. Come back. Gold. IG love gold. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Let's add him back in. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Stephanie, this is Hello. Hey. Ah! <laughs> and you're so bright. You're so bright. <laughs> this is like Stephanie said at J Lo Glow. <laughs> Stephanie said gold. <laughs> Listen, Stephanie said gold. IG Live Gold. You don't gold. look like you've gotten a fresh night of sleep. <laughs> Did y'all take a nap? Did y'all drink coffee? We took a nap. Up. That's where we went. Froze. We just wow. went to The beast has been good for you guys. Hey, listen, that's been killing me the whole time because, you know, videographers are big on lighting. Angels we from heaven. Had it. We had it. Stephanie right. wrote angels from heaven. Oh. Look at them. We had it right. And then Seth touched the screen. And I don't know what Seth, happened. don't. She's going to kill you. Don't touch it. So, what was the question you were We asking? don't know. <laughs> I know. Brittany knows. I know. If I could tell a bride anything about hiring a videographer. You're so good at questions. That's good. Um, <laughs> yes. I would say um, to just make sure, because there's lots of, same with photographers. There's different styles. Right. You know, there's um, more of a, cinematic you know slow motion in front of a waterfall which is beautiful and you know but then there's the like I feel like we are very narrative based um more our heart is capturing the story telling your mm -hmm. story um which videographers are but I would just say um you know make sure that that your videographer is a good fit for you and exactly what you're looking for as a bride and groom and, and someone that you're going to look back at your video 20 years from now. Um, and side note, let them use your voices. You know, we yes. have in the past been like, you know, especially here in Alabama, there's a lot of brides that are like, we hate our voice because I'm so country. Please don't put me on there. You know, which I totally get because I hate my voice too. Yeah. I but we have started now saying, you know, like, well, maybe we're not, not the best fit for you. If, you know, because, it is our heart to capture it and capture it fully so that 20 years down the road, you can hear your voice, the voice of your groom, right. you know, sharing his vows or not, you know, um, maybe a letter or even just little bits throughout the day. Um, but the audio is important, but I would just say to the brides, make sure that your videographer is a good fit. And most of all, not just should you get a videographer, you must get a videographer you have I mean the yes. photographers are gonna get those beautiful gorgeous shots that you're gonna hang on canvas in your homes forever that people can look at forever um the difference of what we're doing through the day is that we are capturing that audio that motion that when you're say your dad sees you for the first time in your wedding dress you right. know and, and his real <laughs> reaction at, or in, in your groom or um, you know, just those sweet moments that are raw, that are mm -hmm. natural, that are, you know, something that after the day and the fog of the day passes, you're going to want to go back and relive and rewrite, right. um, which photographers are catching as well. They're getting those things as well. Yeah, but you're uh, capturing the emotion. I mean, we capture the emotion as much as possible in a still frame. Right. You're yeah. capturing, that's what, I mean. Britt, even talk, let's go back to the workshop video for a minute. We can even talk about the emotion of that. When you captured those moments and then surprised us all by sitting in the living room and showing, we, we, we had all been there. We, we had were, all <laughs> sat through all that. We had looked at the pictures yes. of all of it. 
you can look at the pictures, but then when you brought that video in and surprised us, and yeah. we were able to watch those moments come to life, I mean, I was a basket of tears, and everybody in the room was bawling, and it's yeah. because you captured the emotion with that video, and I yeah. think that's why I, I love the work that y'all do, because you do capture that narrative of what's happened through the day. Yes, yeah, um, thank you. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, it's our, it's our goal. That's our, that's our goal. Is to capture the emotion, um, tell the story, yeah, and anything set to music is gonna just oh. bring some extra emotion in there too. You yes, know? so um, you know, life in motion is is beautiful and inspiring, and um, even the, you know, something that we've talked about a lot lately is like even the, um, <clears throat> the difficult parts about marriage or a wedding day those kinds yeah. of things also are inspiring and beautiful too and so mm -hmm. yeah what about y'all um for photography well for photographers we just tell them like we we you'd be shocked at how many times we hear things like we um we're just going to go with a family friend yeah <laughs> and i'm like i i yeah. we did even though it was good, I mean, there wasn't, but there's just something about, you know. Well, we didn't have a wedding photographer on our wedding day. And we know, so we can speak to it. I think that's where you're going. Isn't yeah, it? Yeah. We can speak yeah. to what it feels like to look back at those memories and not have them captured in a, in a professional yeah. way. Um, and yes. that's the regret that we have. So we have experience to be able to say to people, like, you don't want to do that. Like, I know that I know that hiring a photographer is an investment, but but we have ways to help you move through that investment that will help you pay for it like monthly or quarterly mm -hmm. instead of paying for it in one chunk. Let us help you make this dream a reality yeah. so that when you look yeah. back on it, this is not a regret. Even in this time where we've had to do rescheduling of weddings and we've got we've got people yeah. doing elopements right now, I'm like, listen, we'll figure it out. We'll give you this many hours for this. And then in the year when you decide to get married, we'll come and do that because it needs to be captured. Yeah. Let us yeah. help you figure out how to, how to maneuver that. Yeah, and I, I agree. I mean, you have so many different takes that are out there right now. Some people in the industry see what we do as just a business, you know, and I think that we all four of us sharing that heart together. Yeah, there's a business aspect to it as with anything. But what we've said over the course of this, this time together on this call is it's really about the investment that we're making right. and, and the relationship Relation that we're building amazing. with the couples, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and I think that if you do exactly what, what Amy's talking about there, think about the investment that you're making. Don't think about it as like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go buy this Mercedes vehicle, you know, yeah. or whatever. Just think about it in the terms of, you know, be upfront, be honest, communicate what your need is as a couple. And then yeah. let's figure out ways to help you make that happen, yeah. you know? Investment in the couple yep. is, I think, the heart of all four of us. Y'all froze yes. just a little bit. You still there? You're good. We're almost done. The last question that we had was, what is, if you were to order a pizza tonight, what pizza would you order? We can't hear you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me see if I take them out. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is why we love them, y'all. This is why we love them so much. They're so funny. We hear you. <laughs> Hello. All right. I don't know what's happening. It's fine. I think it's like, okay. If you, this is our last question because we only have a minute and 15 seconds before Instagram cuts us off. So if you were ordering a pizza tonight, what would you order? Meat lovers. Hawaiian. Hawaiian. <laughs> you put a time limit. Ham, ham and pineapple I, I, with jalapenos. Ham and pineapple, jalapenos on half. With no. meat on the other half. <laughs> we would order probably an all the way minus onions. I don't care. Just throw it on there. Pizza. Mm, I want pizza right And right now you have to order pizza because nothing's open. Exactly. COVID-19 out. <laughs> hey, real quick, you got 37 seconds. If anybody's listening, okay. what's your Instagram? What's yeah, your information? tell them your Instagram handle. 
Okay, we are at Harvison Creative Media. And I will post that on YouTube. This is all going to